all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about the grape js toolbar in the previous video i have discussed one time but if you add this toolbar like with your component type so how you can add it so that's i'm gonna be telling you today and it's gonna be very useful for you because uh, if you have seen so many different kind of builders in those builders if you see they have their customized toolbar for each and every component so same kind of thing we're gonna be doing over here so i'm gonna be giving you some examples so later on if you want to try that thing so you can try it to your builder so let's get started you see over here there are so many component types are added so these are the custom component types so if you want to drag this uh, image over here and if you want to drag the headers so these are all the block inline elements so that's why it's coming in the new line okay let's reload the page first so this is how it looks like so let's go into the code uh, so if we come into the code and we see over here so there are so many component added over here so in the previous video I've shown you how you can add these component types and how you can use this and customize it okay and I'm not gonna leave all of these over here right now i'm just gonna be telling you some more details so here what you can do you can add one more bit over here like toolbar okay like this way and it's gonna be added type okay so that's how you can add it and later just uh, add it after the trade we can add it over here after this one into this one you have to pass multiple objects so let's see what are those objects and how we can pass those so first i'm gonna uh, show you this one because there's no any documentation for this one in the grape chair yeah there's many docs so you can read it and you can customize this way because if you try to find two bar over here so you will just find the rich text editor one so that is not usable because we don't use it if you search like into the api reference as well so you won't be able to find it easily but there is an option where you can find it so which is this one okay so if you see this line over here okay so into this one you see this is the toolbar over here it's written how you can define the customized toolbar for each and every component types which you define over there in the grape chairs okay the example you can see over here given toolbar colon array type and inside that you have to pass the object and inside that object you have to pass the attribute commands gonna be fired and you have to define the label as well like if you see over here in each and every component so whatever this thing is coming so this is called toolbar sorry for that i did not describe you earlier so this is the toolbar okay and here if you want to customize it like if you want to change the icon or, you, or if you want to add one more option over here so come over here uh, let's go into the code again and over here inside the code if you see so we have to define the toolbar like this way so let's get some toolbar how the object look like let's go into the inspect element okay into the console okay just remove all of these const a equals to editor dot get selected okay uh, the editor is not defined okay we have to move it to top because it doesn't take into that one and let's find it you see the editor dot get selected is defined inside the a and now if i type a dot toolbar sorry toolbar okay so you're gonna see all toolbar coming over here so you can just copy this object from here copy and just go over here again and just swear and over oh that's a mistake okay so we don't have to just remove this toolbar just we have to remove this object control a and i'm gonna be extending one more thing over here so oh we don't have button toolbar thing so i'm just gonna be replacing this thing into the button so we won't gonna see the button toolbar thing over there and just add it over here like toolbar this 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 so currently if you reload the page and if you drag the button where's the button oh here it is drag this button so you you won't gonna see any difference okay so this is coming like this way all the icons are same everywhere all the icons are same so now if you go over here if you extend this object again like just copy and paste okay and just remove this label from here and pass the b like this and it has to come over there okay now if you reload the page and go over here at the town and over here just drag this button now click on it so you're gonna see the d is also coming over here and if i click on it and delete it because the same command is getting fired which is wired on the trash icon okay so you see tlb delete tlb delete okay so that's why it's getting deleted now i'm going to show you how you can add the command and fire from here so let's go over here command.js so like this way i'm going to add one more command over here Okay, just I have to add one more command and this is my command and I'm gonna be just typing something my cmd first okay my cmd first I'm gonna be typing and on the command xc so just copy this command from here and go into the last file and just copy it okay save it and just go back to the dashboard 
okay and just feel out the pain go over here uh, just drag this button somewhere over here and click on it so you see the d is coming okay and now let's move to the console okay if i click on this d so you will see my command executed so this console is coming over here which means if you want to do something on click of this button so you can do it later okay so how you gonna do it you just have to define this command where in which file you're gonna be initializing the great gs editor okay over there you can just initialize this command and you can pass some instance if you are working in the react so you can just uh, call any use state over there and it can open a modal for you or it can do some other stuff which you want to hit the api call as well so whatever you want to do you can do inside this function okay so that's how your command will be executed and that's what the great gs is doing behind the scene on click of these icons which comes default from the grip js okay so that's what you can do and another thing is you can do you can add this toolbar on the real time so in the previous video i have already shown you about that how we added i'm gonna be adding this video on the i tab over there at the top right so you can just check it over there otherwise i'm gonna be telling you so you just what you have to do we just access this one a dot toolbar so toolbar okay so what you have to do you just have to on the run type whenever you set any element like from here so you have to just check the type and on that type you just have to extend this array okay extend this list so you can just push other object inside of it and it will automatically add the icon for you over here okay and once you have to remove that icon so you can just reduce that object here and it gonna be removed so the icon gonna be removed so that's how you can extend it and remove it and whether you can watch that video and you can just get to know how i did it in the last video so that's it from this video and very informative because i wanted to tell you in the later video but i didn't get it that time so this video is for you okay thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'll meet you next week then keep watching and keep subscribe to the channel thank you so much